we would just definitely like to do a special um, issue on the biotech park for women because this is the one and only kind not only at national level but at the international level also i think it was a very visionary approach uh, to look at uh, entrepreneurship as an alternative career path for women especially in life sciences who've had a break and who want to come back into mainstream uh, this was a very very early vision by the then uh, uh, secretary of uh, department of biotechnology dr manju sharma and dr swaminathan um today we are really happy that you know when the ecosystem is opening up to startups etc they can always look at a successful model which is the golden jubilee biotech park and as dr venu uh, mentioned it's uh, fully uh, occupied actually we have been on a break even mode from 2005 uh, on paper of course we have many parks which are not doing well but then we are very happy to say that uh, we have been on a break even and uh, recognizing the potential i think barack came forward to help us to set up the incubation facility we just finished a major workshop uh, targeting um, you know uh, to nurture and create technopreneurs we had about 110 women participating in this workshop uh, the whole purpose is you know we are very clear which is the target group you are working with so we actually target interns because we believe when they come and spend some time in the park Uh, they see role models right in women entrepreneurs so they look at them and say okay here is a alternative path way for us because they see successful technopreneurs because they are all phd scholars they actually come and started their units over there and they are startups they are first generation entrepreneurs more importantly and uh, fortunately the golden jubilee biotech park has different subsectors of the biotechnology represented within the campus so it works as a very great illustrative example of how if we provide the right kind of ecosystem uh, women can come in and then become entrepreneurs over there we do a lot of hand holding and escort services for women right from strengthening their ideas uh, you know in terms of helping them to write good proposals uh, we do a lot of escort services in terms of uh, preparing a dpr or financial closures initially when we started banks were very apprehensive in putting their money on women but today we have eight banks working with us asking us to identify a good women entrepreneur for them uh, we already have about six incubators uh, in the new incubation facility uh, we can hold about 16 and uh, we hope that by 2020 we'd have at least 100 incubators and about 2000 interns who would have uh, spent their quality time with us okay. so this is a dream and i think it's become a reality thanks to the support given by dbt by rack the state government and all stakeholders and i think most importantly it's become a good uh, example which can be replicated and uh, it can be done as what we have proved so i think it